The narcissist will infect everyone you know. The narcissist will try to contaminate everyone in your family, friends, social circle, workplace. Everyone that you know, everyone that you talk to, everyone that you come into contact with, The narcissist will contaminate all of these people through exposure to their distorted way of thinking, their ideas and beliefs. You start confronting the narcissist on their dysfunctional behavior or how they've been treating you. And you're no longer falling for their gaslighting. You're no longer believing in their lies. You're trusting your intuition and staying grounded in your own beliefs and understanding of the situation. You might make it known to the narcissist that you are planning on leaving them. You might make it known to them that you no longer want anything to do with them. But the narcissist cannot just let you go. They can't just allow you to move on and start a new life without them. When you start confronting them and talking about how you want to leave and move on, they feel as though they are losing control over you and the situation. They have to engage in these types of situations where they have control or an aggressive exercise of power over a person to boost their stature or feelings of self-worth. It gives them a sense of importance or reputation gained by their ability or achievement of locking you down and securing you as their source of supply. It is an activity or a way of behaving that makes them feel powerful. It is something that they do for the pleasure of using power to control you. When you are trying to leave the narcissist, in their minds, you are threatening their sense of power and control. They will begin to associate with the family members that you talk to, your friends, people in your social circle, people in your workplace, people that you know or talk to, anyone who you come into contact with. The narcissist will associate with these people and then convince them to turn against you. They will plant certain ideas, suggestions, or ways of thinking into their minds. Although you may have made it clear to the narcissist that you want nothing to do with them and you wanted to move on, in their minds, that is a threat to their sense of power and control. In their minds, if you can move on and be happy with someone else, they have lost and they don't want to lose the narcissist doesn't want to lose they want to win they cannot just allow you to leave them and then start talking about your experiences with them with your family friends or associates the narcissist intentionally establishes connections with the people around you so that when you do decide to move on, you have to detach all of the connections that they have made. This is designed to isolate you. It is designed to separate you from your family, friends and associates. They don't want you to be with anyone. They want you to be completely alone. They want to leave you alone to yourself. This gives them the ability to be your only source of influence. It gives them the full capacity to have an effect on your character, development and behavior. They can make you believe whatever they want in these isolated conditions because there is no one around to tell you otherwise. 
there is, there is no one around to validate or correct you. Your only source of influence is a narcissist and they are able to make you believe whatever they want. And they can mold your character, development and behavior into whatever they want it to be. This gives them full control over you and your life. This is why they want to isolate you. This is why they don't want anyone to believe you. They don't want anyone to be on your side. They put so much effort into go going behind your back and telling people about the conflicts or disagreements that you have had with them. And they have expressed it in a way that makes you look like the bad person. It makes you look like a person that your family, friends and associates would no longer desire to associate with. They put so much effort into doing that because they want you to be alone. They don't want to see you with anyone. This is designed to give them full control and influence over you. They are also very jealous individuals and they know this. They know that they're not going to be able to stand the thought or idea of you being with someone else. Whether it's a relationship partner or even just a friend. They don't like the thought or idea of someone taking you away from them. Because they already know that you are going to be far happier than you ever were with them. That's why they went behind your back and started talking to people about you. This was done intentionally to separate you from anyone who could potentially help or support you. Someone who could befriend you or give you the love and care that they never did. Narcissists are known for pushing and provoking their victims until they finally react and then they play the victim. This is what they are using against you. This is what they are saying about you to other people. But they don't mention the fact that they pushed and provoked you until you finally reacted to them. They tell people that you are having these emotional outbursts for no apparent reason or they will make up something to go along with it. And then they play the victim as though they can't cope with your aggressive behaviour. They paint this picture as though you are the one who is abusing them. They start talking about you behind your back and asking people what you went through with them and how they dealt with it. It creates a relatable situation. It shows a connection between your reactions to the narcissist's behaviour and any arguments or disagreements that you may have been through with a family, friends or associates. It is something where they are able to feel sympathy for the narcissist or identify with them. Especially if you've had disagreements with family members, friends or associates or if they were dysfunctional as well. It creates a relatable situation, a connection between them. And they will talk about how they respond to you and how they are able to maintain control over you. That's how it can often seem as though they are all using the same tactics or they all behave in the same way. Your family, friends or associates are able to relate to what the narcissist is saying about you. 
they are able to establish a bond or a connection over dealing with you and responding to you in a way where they are able to maintain control. The narcissist can become ingrained or enmeshed within your family or social circle and it becomes very difficult to get them out of there. It's very difficult to get rid of them when they have involved themselves with so many people who you believed were close to you or on your side. Especially when they have managed to brainwash those people and get them to turn against you. When you go to your family, friends or associates and try to tell them your side of the story, they are not going to hear it because the narcissist has already infected them with their distorted way of thinking, their ideas and beliefs. And if you have ever confided in the narcissist about a certain situation that you have dealt with, with a family member, friend or associate, they will have spoken about that to them as well. To make it seem as though you are against them or you are talking about them. This is how they get people who you're close with to turn against you. Anything that you share with a narcissist will be used against you later down the line. They will use it to turn people against you. They enjoy it. They love turning people against each other. They love to cause harm or trouble to people who are once close together. They love to cause conflict and drama amongst people and then sit back and watch it play out. It makes them feel powerful and as though they have the ability to control people's view of things and their emotions. They love to cause these kinds of problems for people, especially if they can't get their way and have it play out as they would like. Once they have infected the people around you, it becomes like a contagious disease which spreads from one person to another. Their emotions, feelings and attitudes spread and affect other people. It transmits or transfers. It goes from one person to the next person until everyone around you is infected by this. And now you become the one who is different. You become the one with a different or opposing feeling or attitude regarding the situation. This is why it is so difficult to remove them once they have infected the people around you. Try to avoid explaining or defending yourself to these types of people. Let your actions display who you are. Be yourself. Continue living your life as you normally would. Talk to someone who you can trust about the situation. Talk to someone who knows you. Someone who is going to understand. And be sure to tell them every, everything that you experienced. Don't let your shame or embarrassment over the situation stop you from revealing everything that the narcissist has put you through. The narcissist is counting on your shame and embarrassment about them and the situation to prevent you from revealing what you had to go through. Talk to someone who you can trust. Talk to someone who knows you. And be sure to tell them everything. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe.
click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you'd like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the merchandise in the Narx Forever store where you can purchase your own Narx Forever t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.